Hello again. Given the recent cybersecurity landscape and the ever changing cyber threats that challenge organizations and governments, today we are going to do a brief overview of the banking Trojan called Emotet. Emotet originally appeared in the wild back in 2014. This malware was designed to compromise the security of a target system and steal sensitive financial information. When threat actors conduct these cyber attacks, they can do so for several reasons, but there is one primary motivation behind these attacks. Their main motivation for breaking into and compromising a company's network and or computer systems is money. Many threat actors and hackers will steal the victims usernames, passwords, credit card information, PII data like the victim's full name and social security number. Once this sensitive information has been stolen, then they turn around and sell this data on the dark web to make money. So now that we know the primary motivation of why these threat actors and hackers perform these cyber attacks, we want to know how they actually perform them as well as the vector they use to infiltrate a victim's system. The most common way that a motet is spread is through malicious spam or mal spam, which is where a threat actor sends carefully crafted malicious emails to trick a victim into opening an attachment or clicking a link. Emotet is has also been sped by exploiting vulnerabilities in unpatched software. One example is Eternal Blue. MS-17-010. In some cases this malware was used to spread other types of malware like TrickBot and Ryuk ransomware. The exact method of delivery may vary depending on the attacker's goals and the target's specific vulnerabilities.